why is it important to test out your physical stage before you give your speech? Well, the answer to that question can be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. In the last two videos, you've heard about room setup and lighting. The third important action you should take when testing out your venue is to get on the physical stage. Stages or risers uh, that are often used in hotels have their own personalities. They all have their squeaks, their weak points, and some of them can be very bumpy. Take a look at this short video for the stage that was used at this event in Knoxville. This is the back part of the stage, no unusual sounds, but if you walk to the middle, you'll notice there's more squeaking here and it's a lot looser. Uh, actually, the, the floor caves in a little bit. So walk the floor, listen for squeaks, any places like with tape where you might trip, and especially any indentations or weak points so that they don't surprise you when you're talking. What we did the night before the event is have all the speakers walk to the front center part of the stage. It was obvious to me that that was going to be a distraction for anyone who hadn't tested it. It had a lot of bounce to it. It actually felt like it could collapse. It wasn't going to. It was, it was a solid structure from the standpoint of the support. It wasn't going to do that and hurt somebody. But if you walk to a spot on stage and all of a sudden you feel like you're going to fall, that's a distraction. That's why it was so important for everyone to test it out so they knew it. And it really squeaked a lot. A couple of the speakers would come back and forth to that spot and it was an audible squeak. There's not much you can do about it at that point, but at least knowing it's there will help you stay focused on your material and stay connected with the audience. Hopefully in these last three videos, you picked up some useful tips on how to test out and prepare your speaking area before you get on stage in front of that audience and give your presentation. We'll see you in our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.